light and fruity. Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we taste, well, we taste Hay Club. 40% ABV, single grain Scotch whiskey. And the testimonial for this whiskey is David Beckham. You do not know David Beckham? Well, it's the husband of Posh Spice. Okay. Um, this is a whiskey quite expensive for a single grain whiskey without an age statement. It's around 60 euros and it's in a blue bottle. Very impressive. Why blue? Well, the Hakes were one of the very old and famous uh, whiskey blending families in Scotland. Uh, the family dates back until 1627 and he had said uh, this single grain scotch whiskey comes exclusively from the house of Hake distiller since 1627 aged in toasted oak cask legally they have to be <laughs> okay Hake club is ultra smooth with sophisticated notes of butterscotch and toffee enjoy over ice or mixed to suit your style and wears neat No, not neat. So we whiskey connoisseurs, we taste our whiskey neat with room temperature. So this whiskey might not be the whiskey for me, I'm afraid. Uh, so the blue bottle comes from the blenders, Hake, where they typically use those blue glasses because they cover the color of the whiskey and the blenders are able, well, to decide without being influenced by the color of the whiskey. So, good idea. So, I think it might be quite light in color <laughs> in this bottle. And there is a copper colored uh, cork uh, cap. Uh, this shows uh, the copper of the stills. Well, single grain, typically they are made on column stills, not pot stills. But those column stills, they have typically uh, <clears throat> uh, copper inside to have this catalytic conversion, uh, which takes place when you put hot alcohol or alcohol fumes in contact with copper. So the copper is not wrong, but uh, <laughs> pot stills from the, uh, the column stills from the outside, they look awful, ah, industrial style. <clears throat> so there is a kind of mimicry and uh, David Beckham as a testimonial. Well, what does that mean? <clears throat> there are, in, uh, in the last years, there have been a lot of testimonials going for spirits. Most of them for vodka and gin and ah, tequila in the moment. It's very hip and in and, and the caravan moves on and leaves the vodka behind and in the moment there had been gin very famous and now gin leaves behind and tequila is coming and the testimonials up <laughs> from hype to hype and earn the money but I was told I'm not quite sure if it's right or not that David Beckham is not only paid for his performance introducing this whiskey but also with a bonus about his performance during the sale of the whiskey. So he might give something extra in promotion. So when he goes out with friends, perhaps he orders a bottle of Hake instead of <laughs> the tequila, um, because he's paid also on the later success, if I'm right, if I heard it the right way. Um, yeah, then there is a video about the Hate Club, the introduction of Hate Club with David Beckham, and there you see it. Japanese, Japanese uh, water plane pilot, wonderful women, a man with a uh, tartan, uh, and so on. And they say to you, uh, there is history in this whiskey. And if you drink this whiskey, you will be as rich and famous and beautiful as we are. <laughs> yeah. Decide yourself if <laughs> this fits to you. <clears throat> I 
light and fruity. So this one is young. There are no old maturation products, compounds. Everything is fresh, light, elegant. A faint hint of, of toffee, but very faint. If you're used to a 12 or 15 year old single malt whiskey with a decent amount of uh, oakiness, then there is 10 times as much butterscotch or toffee uh, in that whiskey than in this one. So this is really light. Mm. Ah. And now oakiness bites. Yeah, always the same with this single grain or with a grain whiskey. They use cask often, often, often three years in a cask and then the cask is reused nine times. So they typically have re, 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 reused casks and those leave tannins from the oak but very few yeah, caramel tones or sugary tones, sweet tones. No, most of it is bitter tannins. Well, the bitterness is going away quite fast. Yeah, still some oakiness in the back. But it's unharmonious. It has this very light and fruity taste, and then this hefty, uh, part time bitter aftertaste. So, well, either you go for, for ice, as stated on the bottle, um, but this will kill the, the aromas. Um, but the, the tannins will stay because the whiskey becomes warm in your mouth, gets warm in your mouth. Um, if you go in a drink, then the bitterness, the oakiness, perhaps they will carry the drink forward and showing here I'm whiskey. This might be the idea in this whiskey and uh, I'm afraid I do not feel comfortable with this one neat. No. If you're willing to pay 60 euros and mixing 60 euros in a drink, hmm, that depends on your ability to pay. Um, on the other hand, perhaps this is a good idea uh, to promote the single grain, uh, the new single grain category of Scotch whiskey. When the Scotch Malt Whiskey Association introduced this single grain whiskey officially in 2009, I think, um, it took quite a time until the first huge big distillers started to promote the single grain category. Uh, this is the second one I taste from the big producers. Uh, and all of them uh, are looking for their target group. The target group for single malt whiskies, well, that's me and you. But the target group for single grain whiskey is not clear. What's, what's the target group? And perhaps this is the chance to uh, get the people from the vodka, gin, tequila side over to the whiskey because it's not that demanding and extreme in the nose. It's, it's quite light and elegant and fruity and this might help uh, new customers move over, over to the single grain brand. This could be a good idea. Yeah, <clears throat> but for a single malt whiskey connoisseur, well, not for me. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. There are more single malt whiskies to come. And feel free to leave your comments on Facebook and Twitter and wherever you're able to post. And thank you for watching.